Okay, welcome everyone to uh, another one of my tutorials here. And this tutorial is going to be a little something different. Uh, I've recently gotten into this another open source program called Nodebox, which is for, for creating generative graphic design. Yeah, it's kind of a news one. I've, uh, it's really neat. So, uh, anyway, I've been on the forum for Nodebox, and I've been exploring it and working with it. And what Nodebox does, it allows you to create uh, uh, graphic design by a generative process. And what I mean by that is you use nodes to put together your graphic design, much like you do in Blender when you're doing materials and other things. So I've been in the forums and uh, was at, somebody had asked a question about uh, what is the frame rate when you export a... Uh, a node box movie and we'll get into that <coughs> what's well, the frame rate of that movie and what they you're able to do is export an animation of a node box graphic design as the mp4 so when I initially got into the conversation at the forum uh, my answer was that I didn't really know what that frame rate was, but you could put it in the blender and set it to any frame rate you like. Uh, at the time, I didn't know if it was 30 or or 12 or whatever. I didn't know, but uh, I did think about it a little bit, and uh, I had a uh, recently did a animation, and I went up to the file explorer where I exported the movie. We'll go to my Nobox folder here. Uh, and let's see if I can find the movie I did initially. These are all PDFs, which I made a mistake. So I'm redoing this uh, tutorial. <laughs> but this is the one I did previously about a week ago. And anyway, if you click on it, right click on it, you go to properties, go to details. And it tells you it's four seconds long, it's frame width and frame height is 1,000 per 1,000, and it's 25 frames per second. So that's one easy way to answer that question. So it's 25 frames per second when it natively comes out of Nodebox as exported as MP4. Okay, so that's that answers that question. And so what we're going to do, I'm going to open Nodebox, and I did a, uh, I set up another Nodebox graphic design image recently and uh, let's see go to open recent and this is called color rectangles 2 now this particular uh, uh, particular setup I'm not going to go into that because you can go to the documentations and uh, look at some of the uh, examples and you can find out how to do this uh, but what it is when I play the animation here you see all the little squares, they change colors and stuff. Well, you can uh, you can export that as a movie. And so you just go up here and you go export range. And I want the, whoops, cancel. Let's see if I can do it this way. Export movie. And as MP4. And I'm going to just go 1 to 100. So we're going to go to my note box and we're going to call this, uh, I'm going to go with the name I gave the original node box file colored uh, rectangles 2 2 we'll call it that oh. now export it's taking a few minutes out and uh, we'll have this little animation here. Oh, there it goes. It's almost there. It's, it's, it's only 100, file, 100 frames, so it's fairly quick. Converting frames to movies. Almost there. Almost there. having to think about that one. There we go. Now, let's go up to our Explorer. No box. 
box, and we should have this uh, <coughs> colored, rectangle, colored rectangle is number two. It's MP4. It's four seconds long, and you can preview it here in Windows. And so there we go. We got that. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to uh, bring this into Blender, and uh, Frederick wanted me to explain the workflow. So we're going to open Blender here. And uh, you go down to video editing. And down here you got a uh, the uh, layers panel for um, you can put together all, uh, put together different strips and stuff. So anyway, we're going to add a movie. And we'll go back to our note box. And there's our color rectangles number two. And if you can click this, you can get a little preview of it. I got the right one. Color rectangles too. That's the one I want. I'm going to add that to our video sequence editor. And you can see it's not the right size. But we can change that by going to properties. Oh, we go over here, go to properties. And uh, we can resize that 1000 by 1000 which is the uh, document bounds in the original no box file. Now, what we want to do is, we know this is 25, rank, 25 frames. And of course, we only got 100, so we change that. Now, let's say I wanted to make an animated GIF, for example. So, we want to, uh, we can export this as PNGs. And we can do this. And we'll go back to our node box. And we'll create a new directory. Call it color rank tangles. Tangles two uh, frames. Now we can say PNG frames. So and then we uh, Hit accept. Now, <coughs> you just go up to your animation here and you click. Uh, we got, now this is going to go out, this is going to come out at 24 frames per second. So we got that set. So we'll get this, we'll get a strip of images here. And there it goes. So we go down to our directory, and there we go. We got 100 frames, and I'm not going to go into the Photoshop part because you can bring in, you can bring all this into Photoshop, and uh, you know, and they have a timeline in Photoshop CX6. I won't go into that, but I just wanted to uh, touch, I want to touch base and uh, get an, give an answer. And show the workflow and how it works in Blender. Mm -hmm. Now, what we can do here, we can uh, quit. And let's say that we've got these frames. Right? Say we've exported them from Nodebox as PNG files, and we change our mind and we want to make a movie. Well, let's see how we do that. So uh, we go back up to video sequence, video video editing. It's actually called a video sequence editor. And you go down to Add Image. We we'll go back to our uh, other Node Box folder, and we go back to our Color Rectangles 2 PNG frames. Hit A, add them all. And now we want to make this 100 frames long, like before. But now we want it as a movie, and of course we got to uh, change the properties here. The properties and get it back out as a thousand by thousand movie. And so now we're going to make this a MP4 at 24 frames per second. So we go here and we go to H264 and we go into our encoding 
and we select MPEG-4 and then we'll uh, designate a folder for it we'll designate a new folder uh, we'll create a new directory and we'll call it colored, rec colored rectangles uh, number two Frames to movie. And then we'll uh, accept this uh, directory. And then we'll give this a new name. We'll call this uh, Node Box Frames to, to Movie. We'll hit accept. So now we're going to, as we got our settings for MPEG-4, H.264 and it's going to be at 24 frames a second. Of course you could actually we'll, check, we'll, we'll change it right back to uh, 25. We can do that in Blender. And uh, let's see, where is the frame rate? Uh, Okay, yeah, we can go here, say 25, and this will turn it right back into what it was after we turned it into frames. So we just hit our animation button up here, and now we go to our folder and see if it's there. And there it is, no box frames the movie. And uh, what we'll do, we'll just exit out of Blender. And we'll go to the File Explorer once again. And I believe it's in Documents under Notebox. There it is, Color Rectangles Frames to Movie. And Windows Explorer has stopped working. <laughs> <coughs> uh, well, let's see. No, it hasn't. Well, anyway, uh, when it, I've had trouble with Windows Media Player lately, uh, so we'll we'll go we'll do a different route here. Uh, but it's the same thing. And what we'll do is we'll open it with. Uh, Let's see, we'll open it with uh, da, 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 VLC Media Player, which I know opens almost everything. That's pretty much everything. And there we go. There you go. You got your MP4 going from frames to a movie. So, uh, thanks for watching my video. And, uh